previous video, we introduced the topic of accessibility. Now, let's focus on techniques to make our sites more usable for visitors with visual impairments. When people think of accessibility and vision impairments, they immediately think of blindness. That is one type of visual impairment, but there are many other impairments between full eyesight and none at all, and there are considerations that need to be made for each. First up is color blindness. This is a visual impairment that's more common than you might think. For example, according to a 2006 report from the Howard Hughes Medical Institute, red-green color blindness affects about 7% of the male population in the United States, which is roughly 10.5 million people. And that's just red-green color blindness. There are numerous other different types of color blindness, all the way up to complete color blindness, wherein an individual sees in grayscale. This might seem like a very complex challenge for web designers to face, and it sometimes can be if you don't plan for it in advance, but the solution is actually surprisingly simple. Whenever you're designing a website, you should always check for contrast. We humans have evolved to be vastly more capable of perceiving changes in lightness and darkness than we are at perceiving changes in color. To check for contrast, simply view your website in grayscale. This can be as simple as desaturating your screen or taking a screenshot, loading it into an image editor like Photoshop, and then desaturating it. Once you've done this, you can start to look for areas of low contrast. You don't have to go overboard making your website ultra high contrast, but there are a few general guidelines to be kept in mind. For one, don't rely solely on color to separate blocks of content. There should be some noticeable difference in the brightness and darkness of two adjacent colors. Secondly, you should have a good spread of value. Somewhere there should be some very dark darks, like text and titles, and some very bright brights, like background colors, and then everything in between. Next up is low vision, or poor eyesight. Poor eyesight is vision that can be corrected by spectacles or contact lenses, and these people we don't really need to make any special considerations for. However, low vision is when an individual has reduced vision that cannot be corrected by wearing glasses or contact lenses. Some pathologies you may be familiar with that cause low vision include cataracts and glaucoma. There are a huge variety of pathologies that may cause vision acuity loss, and we won't go into every single one of them individually. However, some of the characteristics of low vision can include low light perception, parts of a person's field of view that's blocked, cloudy vision, blurred vision, and more. On the more severe end of the spectrum, some individuals may utilize special software and hardware to use a computer and help them navigate the web. We'll talk more about that in the next video, but for now, let's focus on individuals that have milder degrees of vision loss. You'll want to make sure that your site can be easily enlarged or magnified, whether it be via the user's browser or their operating system. It's difficult to make your site resolution independent, but there's still plenty that you can do. For one, avoid setting type using explicit values. You want to allow the text size to be increased without disrupting the natural flow of page content. Next, don't put text in your images. This isn't always possible, and we'll talk about workarounds for this in the next video, but oftentimes it's not necessary. Use plain text when possible because it can be easily enlarged. If you're anticipating a large percentage of visitors that have both mild vision loss and may not be very familiar with computers, you might want to take things a step further. You can use a slightly larger font by default, and you might also consider adding a JavaScript widget that allows visitors to adjust the font right on the page. In addition to larger fonts, you'll also want to avoid scrolling or flashing text like what's typically found on finance sites with stock tickers. Users with low vision that magnify text will sometimes read at a slower rate, and text that flashes or scrolls past too quickly will be difficult for them to take in. One final note, as I mentioned earlier for colorblind users, it's a good idea to make sure that your site features good contrast. 
Many pathologies that cause low vision also result in some color blindness. There's still more to learn about visual impairments. In the next video, we'll learn techniques to make our sites more accessible to visitors that utilize screen reading software.